Suzanne from The Painted Drawer and I'm here today to show you how to take a very old chair, one that you might find in your local thrift store or um, let's see where else, maybe somebody's trash, you never know. Uh, take it and restore it and make it gorgeous for your own home and it's simple, easy and cheap. This chair only cost me 20 something dollars, um, it's gorgeous, it has it's solid wood, it has some great detail that's really going to pop with the paint. The fabric is um, old green velvet. I happen to love, so I'm going to put some Resolve um, upholstery cleaner, spray on it, let it sit, and then brush it, and hopefully um, it might get rid of a few stains that just need, it just basically needs to be perked up. Anytime you take an old chair, it's going to be kind of gross when you first get it, so this is not for the faint of heart as far as dirt is concerned. Um, I already gave it a good, a good vacuum. So what you do is you take your paintbrush, and in this case I'm using Annie Sloan's Old White. Uh, you dip it in, obviously, and you just go to town. Now, I will say, I have a pretty steady hand, um, and I don't tape off the fabric, uh, unless it's in a really hard place. I would suggest if you're a little nervous about that and you're trying to keep the fabric that you do use tape and tape off where it hits the wood because once you get the paint onto the fabric it's pretty hard to get off especially chalk paint so that's my tip um, like I said this put I'm going to put the old white on uh, and then I will come back and show you we're going to distress the detail and put on the wax uh, and hopefully transform this back to its state of original beauty just with an updated twist. And I'm showing you how to do a remake of uh, an old vintage chair. Um, in the first video I showed you how I was going to apply the Annie Sloan Old White. So this is just uh, the first couple of coats of the paint. It's all done. Um, and then the next video I'll show you how I distress it back and then we'll do one on the waxing so you can see. This I'm just going to give it a quick try. The fabric is velvet. It's really stained. It's really old. But I wanted to try to keep it if I could because I really love velvet and I actually really like this color. So I just bought the Resolve Cleaner. Let's give it a whirl and see if it works. It says just to spray it on and then we'll let it sit and then scrub. Um, so that's basically, that's all I do. I'm just gonna, I have a little scrub brush that I'm going to use also to scrub it in. And it actually doesn't smell bad. Finally, the spray comes up. There we go. So now I'm just going to take my little brush, which I have here, and just brush it in. show you all I've cleaned the fabric and now I'm going to start sanding I already started there the paint the chalk paint down um, you just take this is a 220 grit sandpaper I wrapped it around my sanding sponge and basically I am just going to go over the chalk paint and highlight the aspects that I feel really um, 
should pop. Now this chair has a lot of gorgeous detail and by sanding it like this and distressing it, all of the detail that you wouldn't necessarily see before will suddenly um, appear. And then with the clear and dark waxes that I'm going to apply, um, it's really going to highlight all of this gorgeous uh, woodwork on this vintage chair that was basically lost before when it was dark wood. And this is what I tell a lot of people who say, oh, why don't you leave it unfinished? You know, just some pieces, sure, would look better natural wood, but other pieces, such as this chair, they really, to me, um, look so much better painted. So there you go. There's the, the little woodwork along the front. Also, by sanding your piece, you will create a smoother finish to your paint, so um, it will feel more professional, especially after you wax it, than if you didn't sand it first. So anyway, I will be back and show you how we're going to apply the wax. Hi everyone, Suzanne from The Painted Drawer, and uh, we're on our last step, which is applying the dark wax. Um, the dark wax comes in tin. You only need to apply uh, a very, very small amount. So use it very sparingly. Basically, dip your uh, t-shirt in and there you go. Kind of like dig it in there. And it will just give it that aged look that I really think a piece like this needs. Now if you feel that you've applied too much, don't worry, you can always take your clear wax and go right back over it again and the clear will wipe off the dark. So I'm not going to do the whole thing in the dark. I just like to just hit the bits and pieces I feel I just want to get a little darker. The piece is really, the chair is looking great. And so, there you have it. Gives it an aged look. I'm just going to wipe it a little bit more off. And like I said, it really highlights, really gives it that authentic look. Not that it's just been painted in white paint and distressed. It makes it look like it's really old, like it was always this way. And that is what I love about the dark wax. So there you have it. My old chair, made new to look old. Um, that I happen to love. Hope you love it too.